Okay, let's try this again real quick. Um, <laughs> so I did one nail, that was the one I was showing you, and I just used the nail polish remover to take off the sticky and that nail polish that was around the edge. Hopefully it's clear. It looks kind of like a blurred video, but I'm gonna try, we're gonna do it on this one too, and we'll see. Um, the other cool thing too is if the stamp doesn't go on quite right, you can just wipe it right off with nail polish remover before you put any gel on it and try it again, which I've already had to do that because it didn't quite work. So let's try this middle finger again. Let me grab the design and we're gonna try rolling it this way again. That actually looks a lot better than the last one. <laughs> so after that's dry, you just let it sit for a second. I'm gonna clean off my stamper so it's ready to go for the next one. And then I'm gonna put on top coat real quick. Uh, trying to avoid getting it on the skin. Make sure you get the end covered a little bit too so you don't incidentally wipe off any of that pattern up there. Shh. Yeah, I'm sure. Hang on. That's my daughter, Charlie. I'm doing a video. So we're going to set that and then we're going to use the uh, nail polish remover and I'll show you how that works here in a sec. I'm still just waiting on this light. Takes just a second. Sorry guys, it's kind of weird video. <laughs> I was actually trying to see if I had a nail polish that I'd want to put on the white. I was thinking either pink, maybe I'm even thinking gold. We'll do like a gold pattern on these. I'm still trying to decide, but let me grab my paper towel. Oh, and then look at this cool nifty thing. This is a non-acetone polish remover, and it has that pump top, like the alcohol. See what I mean? So you basically just push on it, and it releases just enough nail polish remover onto your paper towel. Because I always had this uh, knack for dumping it all over, which was super fun to clean up, and... <laughs> Sometimes I've ruined varnishes on tables and, you know. But yes, yeah, so look at this. It actually took off all that extra stamp. And there's no sticky. And then of course when you get all finished, you'll have to wash your hands because it does make your fingers smell weird and sometimes taste bad when you go to eat foods. <laughs> but yeah, um, let me see if I can find my gold. Color, ooh, you know what? Even like a tan color would look really good, I think. Um, maybe we'll do a different stamp with this one. Um, instead of doing them all the same. This one's actually pretty cool. It's the same company. Um, there's a spider web on here, but we're not quite there. <laughs> um, ooh, guys, I don't know. Maybe this really cool one, but just like that half. That might be kind of neat. Let's try that. Um, get this one. I gotta shake it up a little bit because it has been a minute. Shake, shake, shake. Make sure that that's got all the white off. I hate getting halfway through it and I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't clean it. Okay. Let me get my card out here so I'm ready to clean it off. Gotta get myself lined up. Okay. Let me get just enough product on here. Nail polish, not just product, it's nail polish. Instant dry. They have so many different colors too, which is awesome. Okay, and then we'll grab 
add that stamper, pick it up before it gets too dry. See? And then I'm gonna try and get this pattern kind of have these. It's kind of hard to see, but I mean, it's not, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's more nude. It kind of looks spider webby, but not, not terribly. I don't know, we'll, we'll leave it. Maybe, maybe I'll grow to like it. <laughs> so let me, in fact, you know what, let's, let's throw on some gold with it too, maybe, because I'm kind of liking that idea. I gotta find my gold. I've got so many colors in here. Holy crap. Red, pink, bronze, green, silver, black. The wine green, purple. Where's my gold? I'll bet it isn't in here. I bet I set it somewhere else. Just my luck. Ay, ay, ay. Mommy has a lot more. I know, but my gold's not in there. Well, I don't know. I mean, bronze is pretty Mama. too. Let's do a little bronze. I mean, it's kind of like a reddish bronze. Mama, when you're done with the video, can, I, can you paint my nails? Maybe we can paint your nails, huh? Yeah. I like want like um so this actually, pinkish. Wait, I want a light pink. Light pink? Yeah, right in here. Okay. Sorry. Well, hang on just a sec. I gotta get that uh, nude color cleaned <gasps> off first. I can get some purple glitter. Did you? Yeah, I found some purple glitter. Look, purple glitter. Wow. Yeah, I got, I got all sorts of stuff in there. Yeah, I got also a blue one and a gray one. Mm-hmm. Wait, we got a gray one. Do we? We got two gray ones. Well, maybe it's a little gray one. Actually, it looks like a stamp. Okay, so we've got that stamp. I'm gonna try and just kind of wow. go this over where I was color. at before, but just off a little. Wait, I want to see. Green. Wait. I might have done it almost exactly Green. the same. Black. <laughs> but it's kind of like a maroonish bronze. I mean, it's pretty, and you'll see more of that sparkle when I get the gel on. So let me. Night. Clean that off real quick. Okay, and then we will put the top coat on. Move this over here for a minute. Oh, that's kind of in the way too, huh? Okay, so let's set this. And then that sparkle comes through when you put that top coat on there. Make sure you get all of it covered so that it doesn't wipe off with the nail polish remover because I've done that to myself a few times and it really sucks. Because then you basically have to file it off at that point and start over, which is no fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that. We'll do it on the pinky and then we'll see what it looks like here in just a sec. See you in a minute. Well, actually two seconds. So I am just finishing up the pinky nail right now, and then we'll do that, uh, the tan, you can hardly even really see the tan, so I probably should just do the, like that bronze color on the thumb, um, and then I'll show you kind of what it looks like all together. Um, I may even get frisky and try to throw on some glitter, um, because I tend to do that. I, I'm a glitter fanatic, <laughs> I don't like anything glittery. So let's see here. See, we've got the pinky on. So let me just wipe off that excess real quick. I might need to grab another paper towel. Let's see what we got. See? So let's do the thumb here real quick. Let me just swap. Oh, one thing. Let me swap things, Cal. Um, yep, 
that's the one right there. So I'm gonna put some nail polish on it and we'll get swiping. Make sure we've got enough of the pattern since my thumb is a little bit bigger than the other one. Let's uh, scoot that up on the paper towel a little bit. Try to get it all over the table. <laughs> I have to explain that. Honey, guess what I did? <laughs> Don't be mad. Oh boy, it didn't come off very good. I wonder why. See, that will happen every once in a while, which it's totally fine. I mean, just be patient. Wipe it off. Try again. <laughs> it might even be that I had a little bit of residual nail polish remover on the stamp itself, the rubber. So let me, let me clean this off real quick. Make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hopefully it will come out a little better. Let's see. or packed with polish, scrape it off, grab my stamper, roll it on. Ah, see, much better. Uh, we've got it on that side, so let's do it on this side this time. Just for something different. I'm just gonna roll it. I actually like that one better. It came over a little further, but that's okay. You may ask, that's how you meant to do it. <laughs> Intentional. Get that cleaned off here real quick. Let me just kind of pat some of those loose edges a little bit and I'll grab that top coat and we will that so it won't come off. Um, I have seen other nail artists and people that do nails where they buy this um, Kind of like a sticky type adhesive they'll paint it all the way around their outside of the nail uh, it leaked a little bit but um and so then when they do the stamps they just basically peel it off and then the polish comes off with it um i've never purchased it for myself um, because this actually works just fine um but there is that as an option if you're you know more like dead set on not getting a bunch of polish all over your nail, but I'm not even sure how expensive that stuff is. I've never even looked it up because I'm like, why? It works for me. Plus you can get a big old bottle of this for like a dollar, maybe two. And you can use it for other things as well. So boom, I like being frugal. <laughs> I'm all about the frugs. That's probably not even a word or a thing, but we're going with it right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna get a little bit more of that polish remover. Um, the thing about metallics is sometimes it can be a little harder to remove, but sometimes if you even just grab a Q-tip with some nail polish remover, it comes off a lot easier. So let's see what we've got here. That's the finished thumb. There we go. And if you see, I haven't even started this hand yet because life kind of happened. and So that's probably tomorrow's project, but this is what we're probably going to end up with on both hands tomorrow. Well, not probably. It is. I'll just probably work on this one tomorrow. So this is what we started with. And with all that grow out, and then we backfilled and used the apricot color here, white over here, white polish, instant dry, I have to think on these stamps 
and then the bronze, it's actually called Coco. Coco A Go Go Instant Dry by Sally Hansen on this one and the thumb. So again, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to answer what I can. And uh, thank you again for stopping in and watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe. I would be more than happy to have you be a part of the my YouTube family. Um, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Down here. Bye. <laughs>